welcome back to the channel guys today i'm going to show you how to enable nvidia's resizable bar now there are three steps to allow you to actually use resizable bar on your graphics card so i'm going to start with step one first make sure you have your motherboard updated to the latest bios which supports a resizable bar i'm using the msi unify x570 am4 platform i'm also using the uh, ryzen 9 5950x now you'll find this setting under settings advanced tab pci subsystem settings and you'll see resize bar support just make sure this is enabled and that's pretty much step one if you don't see this option please check your uh, manufacturer's bios and make sure that you've got the latest bios update so i'm going to go and boot into windows now and i'll show you the next two steps you need before you can use resizable bar so now that i'm back in windows um you can see i've got gpu z open you can see i'm using the latest nvidia drivers 465.89 these are important because this allows you to use nvidia resize bar but as you can see it's disabled at the moment and the reason it's disabled is because you now need to flash or update your uh, graphics card by uh, bios or firmware i'm currently using the asus um, tough oc rtx 3090 and unfortunately for me um, you still need to update the bias before you can uh, actually use this now asus has a link or a update tool on their website as you can see this is the nvidia resize bar flashing tool all you've got to do is download this run it and you should be in a, able to update your your firmware and your bios to support resizable bar so i'm going to download that now and when unfortunately a lot of us have been running into this issue so what happens is you uh, run the program so then give it permission here and then you're led with this message your graphic card no need to update vbios and you know that shouldn't be happening you can run it as administrator it doesn't matter it always gets the same result now the only way around this is to manually flash your bios and now i just want to give a little disclaimer here there is a slight risk that you can mess up and uh basically brick your card well good thing about the asus tough it has dual bios so even if you did make a mistake you can always flick the switch and use your other bios to recover so if you follow the instructions you should be fine so first thing you want to do is uh download this bios this is the bios that got released on the 31st of march 2021 and it gives you uh, the resizable bar support it's basically what the update tool should have done but for some reason it's not doing it so i'll provide a link into the description for this so you don't have to go hunting for this yourself if, if you want to look for it yourself literally just write in this bios version into google and uh, just double check it's the right one and then you'll be fine so you've downloaded the bios now now you need to download the tool which will flash your graphics card which is nvidia N nv flash so get the latest version 5.692.0 as you can see it has full support for the whole rtx 3000 range or 30,000 series so you want to make sure you get the latest version so once you've downloaded that you can then begin to uh, flash your bios so the first thing you want to do is um, what i would recommend just to simplify things put nv flash and your bios into your c drive root directory and it just kind of makes it easier to follow my steps if you're going to um, follow my instructions so once you've done that just literally put them into the root directory the next thing you want to do is you want to bring up command prompt so you want to run this as an administrator as well and you want to change your directory to the c drive so just type cd c And that will change you to the c drive you can check you've got this correct by just pressing dir so directory and it will just tell you all of the files that are in that location so as you can see nv flash is there and the bios is there that we're going to use so that's how you know you're in the right location the first thing you want to do is disable right protect on your your graphics card so you make sure you can update your bios so first thing you want to do is write nv flash space dash dash and you want to write protect off all one word 
press enter. The screen might flash for a few seconds, but don't worry, it's supposed to do that. And you'll see it says um, setting EEPRM software protect settings. So basically the EEPRM protect, um, protection complete means it's basically unlocked the right protect. So you can now update your BIOS. So that's the first step. It'd be easier if I open up a new command prompt actually. Okay, so you do the same steps again. Change your directory to the C drive. So CD, C. Now we're in the C drive. And now you want to do is NV flash. And then you want to make a space. And then you want to do dash. And then you want to put number six. This is important because it basically bypasses the PCI Express. Um, sometimes you can get a mismatch, but you want to press space dash six and that will bypass the mismatch then you do want to do another space and then you want to write the name of your rom so in my case it'll be two three one seven two four so two three one uh, seven two four dot rom press enter so you you might see a flash but don't worry it'll be fine so what you'll do you get left with a message and this message says, um, update your display firmware. So you want to press Y for yes. And then it says, you want to confirm, just let it do it. So now you can see it's updating the firmware. So let's give it, let it get to 100%. Uh, so as you can see, update was successful. So sometimes it flashes, but that's fine. So now that that's been done, you need to restart your computer. So I'm gonna reboot now, and then you guys can uh, see that resizable bar should now be enabled. So once again, I'm back to my windows and I'm going to check GPU Z as you remember before resizable bar support said disabled um, it should now say enabled so it's now working if you want a further verification you can just go to Nvidia control panel and let's go to system information and as you can see it now it says resizable bar yes so that is how you flash your BIOS. And in particular, if you're using the Asus model for the Founders Edition model, Nvidia have made it really easy. They've got a tool that will do it for you and other manufacturers have their own update software as well. So let's have a look at your manufacturer's website. Hopefully you won't run into the problems that some of us Asus guys have run into. So hopefully this has helped. Any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I'll leave all links to the BIOS, to the update tool, uh, in the description so hopefully uh, this has helped you guys out thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video